All right. Let's talk about Penn State going to Champaign and getting it done. They got it done. Uh, but man, did Luke Altmaier help them out a lot? Jeez, I mean, the Illinois defense I think looked a lot better, and I talked about it here as well. Now they ran the ball okay, right? But not as dominantly as they probably have run the ball against other teams, and they will run against other teams this year. I mean, Kitron Allen, 15, thirteen carries, fifty-four yards, and a touchdown. Um, I'm trying to pull up Nick Singleton's stats right here as well. Nick Singleton, 11 for 37. So they stopped him at the line. Like, Illinois' big boys matched up with Penn State's big boys. And I said that that was going to be a key to the game. What I did not anticipate was <laughs> Luke Altmaier just throwing four picks and just giving Penn State the ball. Just, I mean, Illinois, like, now you can't just say, oh, if you take away four interceptions, right, Illinois could have won this game. But, like, Illinois... I don't regret taking Illinois plus 15. I would do it again in this game, in this situation at home. Uh, I think Luke Allmeyer just kind of blew it. They put in Paddock. I mean, he did okay through a touchdown, but I don't know. I don't know. What I did like, though, is that uh, Reggie Love got some work in at running back. And uh, I, I thought he did okay. I thought he did okay. I thought he did okay. He had some nice runs. He had some really nice runs at times where I thought yeah. he was physical. I still think. They were still a little stagnant in the running game. Like, I think he had a couple, right? Like, there were a lot of other runs where he just kind of got stuffed there. Um, Yeah, but also, credit Penn State's defense. A lot of these, those turnovers, while Luke Almar was gifting, right? They were making plays. They were making plays. So, uh, yeah, while Illinois definitely blew this, for sure, I, I'm, I'm not going to take that away from Penn State. They made plays. They made plays on the defensive side of the football. Um, Drew Aller didn't really need to do a whole lot. Didn't do great, actually, at all in any way. But uh, that's what's nice, though, about this Penn State team. It's like, yeah, you can, like, Drew Aller, he's shown that he can play at a high level. But if he's not, right, and you're relying on this defense, like, this defense is really freaking good, man. They're really good. Um, And you're not going to see a defensive line as good as this, really, for the, for the rest of the way, probably, for Penn State. I guess Michigan, Ohio State. Kind of, I don't Hopefully know. State, seen it. If they pan Maybe. out, if if, they, if all these players kind of pan out, I guess. But, uh, so th- this is a good win for Penn State on the road. It's always tough going on the road in the Big Ten for sure. Um, especially against a team with a defense like Illinois that played to probably the level that they're more capable of playing to. Um, it's just so funny though. It's like the, the reason that Illinois was in these games before, right, was because Luke Almar was doing everything right, and then yeah. And their defense was lacking. And then now, right, Illinois Josh to one and two. And today it was because Luke Altmaier was an absolute blunder. So uh, what are you going to do? I, I still think Illinois can win some games in the Big Ten West. I still don't think they're out of the Big Ten West race by any means, right? I mean, did we have we watched Big Ten West football <laughs> this year? I mean, it, it is it, it is wide open. It is wide open. Sure, I would just put up 41 points on Western Michigan, but like, Western Michigan is one of the worst teams in the entire country. Was that Western Michigan that they played? No, it was a... Yeah, it was. It was. They're terrible. Yeah, I didn't watch that game. Uh, Might go back this week, you know, won't watch. I need to see more of that offense because... I want to see how they fared against Western Michigan, basically is what I'm trying to say. But um, they didn't throw the ball very effectively if your box score sniping. So... uh, yeah, this Big Ten West is wide open. So, and also this game for Penn State for me, I I I feel even better about Penn State because I know that, that their defense is legit. Well, they won with their, you know, their off pitch. You know, it wasn't their, it wasn't their stud fastball. They had to win with the changeup as well. Which, to again, like while you're breaking in a new quarterback, like a very talented quarterback, albeit, but a very new in terms of a young guy like Drew Alarm. You're going to have some hiccups. And if with Penn State to do the things they want to do this year and make the college football playoffs, they cannot lose hiccups like this. And they need to be carried by defense. You got to have some explosive plays in the running game um, at times, I guess, which they didn't really do. But it's more so Illinois looked legit. That defense was the defense we were looking for. Obviously, the turnovers, like you said, killed them. I don't, I didn't like the benching of Luke Altmaier, to be honest. I know he didn't play great, 
and he missed some throws. But I, I just don't like that. I think he needs the reps, all the reps he can get, and he needs to have the confidence in – like, Paddock didn't play great. I, I, thought he looked, I thought he played bad, even though his box score looked pretty good, better than outliners for sure. But it was garbage time. It was, I, I did not like that at all. Um, but I was a little disappointed at Penn State because you would like to see them – like bury this team. Like it should have been twenty eight nothing in the first quarter, in the first half. Like that's what you like to you like to see with with elite teams. Um, but they obviously they didn't. They struggled in red zone to capitalize on those turnovers. And obviously, credit to them for causing those turnovers. But also like complimentary football, you got to bury those. And if you get turnovers in a big time game like Michigan or Ohio State, you have to turn those into six. It cannot be. You know, settle for field goals or punt the ball, whatever it is, you know. But um, yeah, I think both these teams, their best football, I think, is still ahead of them. Um, I think Altmeyer hopefully will continue to get better and better and better at defense, not playing a free talent like Jalen Daniels or, or Toledo's quarterback as well. Like it's gonna help them out. And, and the Big Ten West, like you said, is wide open. Penn State still can win every game on their schedule, like we talked about earlier. Um, but yeah, they went in. On the road in the Big Ten, they got a win and they covered. Regardless, that, that's a win. If you're James Franklin, you love that you're you can be upset about certain things. You love that you can motivate your team and, and continue to tell them they're not good enough yet. But you got to win. A win is winning, and sometimes that's that's all you want to do. Go one to know this week, and, and that's what they did.